Hello. So, this is a controller I purchased ooh, years ago. That was when I still had like moderate interest in my PS1. However, it didn't work. Uh, I just kind of shrugged it off. I thought it was a PS2 controller for some reason. Uh, I mean, it, it does have the same connector. I mean, they both do, so. But recently, I took it out and I realized it has the analog switcher. Much like a PS1 controller. Come on, focus. I am back with better autofocus. Yay. Alright, it's not that much better, but... It's gonna have to do. Sorry. But, yeah. So, it was kind of intriguing, even though I don't usually go for third-party controllers, but first of all, like, <laughs> this just looks weird. But, the main kind of selling point of it is that you could hold it like this. Although, kind of feeling it now, it kind of feels like I can't set it to one particular setting where it's c fully comfortable for me to access both the analog sticks and the buttons, whatever, whatever the proper name for these are. Also, if you are in joystick mode, as I call it, and you want to use the back buttons, which are here, or this is, you know, one and two triggers, I find it very hard not to press the button, and if I do, I have to kind of squish it like that. It's, it's, it's not good. So anyway, uh, I may have mentioned this, but I plugged it in, and it didn't work, and I'm not getting a light, I'm not getting a reaction, nothing. Just completely dead. So, today I'm going to open it up, because why the hell not? And see, maybe if we can get it fixed, or at least what goes into making computer uh, a controller so damn funky. So here's my drill bit. Not, why do I call it a drill bit? It's just a normal a screwdriver bit. And I'm gonna start removing the screws. Okay, now we actually get to the body. Okay, we're in. Uh, okay. <laughs> so, the buttons... Oh, no, they're screwed on. I thought they were going to be hard. Put, put on there hard. No, no, that sounds a bit wrong. Ooh, this has electronics going to it. Okay, it does not look to be very serviceable. Mm, I'm gonna have to remove the top board. I mean, this is way more complex than it really has to be. I am really curious to see uh, what is in the handles. Are they handles? Um, yeah, I would have expected this to just be a crappy cut-down PCB with just kind of cables going all over the place to extend stuff to the other side. But, no, this does seem pretty actually, pretty actually high quality. There's like plastic inserts and everything. Well, not insert, but standoffs maybe? I don't know what the proper word for that would be. Uh, are you gonna lift off now? Uh, so confusing. Okay. I'm gonna remove the sp springs before I lose them, as I lost one just. So let me remove the other one and try and retrieve the screw from the bottom of there. And sorry you can't see much, but nor can I, so... And put that to the side with my screws. Mm. One thing I've got to say, this does look pretty damn clean. 
Uh, I was thinking I'm going to have to clean it. Oh, the PCBs are attached. I have to, like, remove both PCBs at the same time, maybe. Yeah, it does look like it. So, that's... Here's the uh, analog stick PCB. Uh, there's the button PCB here. And they are all connected by little ribbon cables going to the actual logic PCB. Uh, this seemed pretty nice quality, but now I see they haven't even used pr like proper attachments. And while this PCB seems really high quality, this one is really kind of crappy. Yeah, that's not good. Uh, honestly, I don't see what could have, like, I don't think I'm going to get to do anything on this, because, frankly, there is no access to anything. I mean, I mean, look, even the cable here, it's, it's just all glued all over the place. There's nothing that can blatantly, like, be wrong with it. And there's a couple of caps, but they, you can't see any of this, but I'm sorry. Uh, I'm going to try this. But none of them seem bloated or anything. And there's pretty much nothing I can really service without, like, without some stuff. And I just realized, and I was like really surprised what was going to be in, in these, but it's probably just an, rum, a rumble motor. Yeah, that's a rumble motor. Okay, uh, this is all really not serviceable. I would have to break apart this in order to... Uh, you know, access it. So, unfortunately, I'm just gonna leave this alone because there's just no point to doing this. I mean, all I'm doing is breaking it. And, well, more so than it already is. So, sorry this was a fail, but it's an interesting device nonetheless, isn't it? Uh, yeah, thanks for watching.